Good day. Welcome to King Wilmer's Everything. Today I want to cover joysticks, specifically joysticks on the Atari 2600 and Commodore 64 and the Atari computers. And I really liked the Atari joystick. It was a nice design. And this is the classic Atari 2600 joystick. It has a nice feel. It's nice and firm. They took a beating. Really well designed. They thought this sucker out. Um, you could do right-handed and left-handed if you wanted a monkey with the um, cord on the way a little bit. So it worked either way. But most people played it right-handed, so that was fine. And these were really nice. They took a good beating. I really love this on the Commodore 64. And anybody played our Atari 2600, this is the one you got. This is the one you played with. You enjoyed it. Very nice choice. But there was more out there. And this one here is my favorite. This is the Wicco Command Control. Wicco Command Control. Made in USA, patent pending. This was a beast. Well designed and very expensive. I think I paid 20 or 30 bucks for this. Probably like 30 bucks. This was an expensive joystick. Has same plugs as the Atari 2600, so you could swap it out. I used this on the Commodore 64. Really loved it. Uh, it has a nice feature. You could do the base button or the stick button. So if you wanted to play with that button or the other button, you can do it on the fly. So it kind of made give you a little more options. But what's really nice compared to this guy is it had a really nice feel to it. You could hear the contacts clicking in there, really quiet. Had this nice little rubber ring, so it really had a nice feel to it. Where this one was more, um, you know, it just kind of mushed onto the button. But this one was nice. But this one, you got had a lot more movement on it. And it was easier to do like uh, uh, up to the right, up to the left, you know, down the left, down the right, versus the Atari 2600. And the top button gave it that extra oomph. And this guy had a really nice feel, and it had some nice ergonomic designs. Even though it was square, it was rounded corners, fit nice in your hand, and it had this little indent here for your, your forefinger. So when you grabbed on it, you had kind of a little more leverage. Um, <clears throat> just a well-designed uh, joystick. Have a nice uh, little feedy on there, and after all these years, the feet are still there. So if you want to put it on a table and play it, you could do it. But um, most people, you know, put it in your hand and held it and played it. And this guy had a really nice, nice button, nice feel, nice clicky. Same with the top button. Played this forever, and it's still in beautiful condition. Still works perfect. And these guys, basically, really, it took a lot to wear them out. But you can see it had a lot of movement, and it. it Bounce right back to center instantly. So, really, really fantastic joystick. They had another version of this. I think it had had the round ball on it uh, with the same button on top. But I like the the stick because it was really nice. So anyway, that was the Wicco Command Control from Wicco, patent pending, made in the USA. Absolutely fantastic joystick. Find one of these, pick it up. It's good uh, to have in your collection. Uh, play Atari or even Commodore 64 or something else. This is really good. I haven't even played it on the ColecoVision. If you didn't need the buttons, you could use this, and it worked really well. But really just a fantastic joystick. Uh, well designed. At the time, very pricey, but definitely worth the money. So that's my favorite joystick. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.